since I've got the Dremel out anyway, I may as well do one more cut and we'll make it right in here. Obviously I don't want to cut anywhere near these registration pins and all the wiring will go pretty much center on. So uh, let's just be sensible about this and draw out a nice big hole here. Maybe we can do this much and like that. So I definitely want to leave an edge around so I don't cut too far in and put an actual hole in the visible deck. I definitely don't want to lose this and have it scratch up the deck in here. And that, as they say, is that. Let's pull this out here. There's going to be a lot of melted plastic around the edges. You can usually just push most of it off and away. A few of these parts are uh, fairly tough, so we'll pull out the exacto here and give just a little bit of slicing. This is another reason why I wanted a bit of a lip in here so that I wouldn't cut too far in. Don't really have to cut this all this plastic away, but neatness can count sometimes. And having fewer jagged edges for the wires to catch on is definitely a good thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. What I may do here to help stabilize this is get some popsicle sticks. And in fact, let's do that right now. Popsicle sticks are definitely your friend when it comes to models. So something like that looks good. Still plenty of room for all the wires to come under. And having the lines radiate from the center. Well, perhaps it's just an aesthetic choice. Oh, there's a couple holes there. Got to watch out for them. So let's move those off to the side. So don't want to cover them at all. I would imagine having these radiate out from the center rather than being any old angle may be better. I don't really know. And we'll get a couple clamps here. That should be good for that side and that's going to be impossible to clamp it looks like unfortunately. I wonder if this will work actually. Not quite.
So when you do this, make sure you definitely don't cover any holes anywhere along the process. That'd be bad. What I'll do here, since we can't clamp it, pull out the old baking soda, hold this down really good, and drip that in there. Now we should have a pretty solid connection going on. Put a little more glue down here. The popsicle sticks really drink up glue. So in this case I think more is better. And since we buffered that size with the baking soda, we'll do this side too. Having all these magnets around is a detriment because these uh, clips are definitely magnetic. So I'll leave these on for now. I'm not going to do any more work on this tonight. Give it a good few solid hours to really cure nice and strong. Just wish I could get a clamp on this area here, but maybe one of these little ones will work there we go and just maybe let's pull this guy out of here not quite Oh well, so we'll use the little one. As long as I got something on there, that's what matters most. Cool. So again, that is it for tonight. Thanks for watching. See ya.